Sierra Hotel, India, Echo, Lima, Delta, Shield. What's up with Shield Boys? Gay George Man here to we will be reacting to the manga the history of the flying vices from Amber to the last airbun. Like, come subscribe, let's dive on in. The history of flying bison. The flying bison, also known as sky bison and air bison, lived in the air temples along with the air nomads. The most notable flying bison in the series was Appa, Avatar uh -oh. Aang's animal guide and Team Avatar's primary means of long distance transportation. Some bison also live in the Fire Nation, tended to on an island by the Bonte tribe. We've been raising this herd of air bison since the Hundred Year War. Welcome to the Amagi. In today's video, we're going over the history of flying bison. Before we begin, we publish new content every week, so be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. Prior to the Hundred Year War, many flying bison lived in the air temples. They were highly respected by the air nomads who regarded them as the first airbenders. Yep. While airbenders were in training, they each received a flying bison to become their lifelong companion. The sky bison was believed to be the only way in which people could reach an air temple. After the air nomad genocide, Appa was believed to be the last of the flying bison. However, during his adventures after the Hundred Year War, Aang discovered a new herd that started to grow again with colonies of healthy bison residing at all of the air temples. When Iki ran away while visiting the Southern Air Temple in 171 AG, she hid in a cave that a bison family had made their home. While both parents were out, the young airbender entertained the four calves whom she had named Blueberry Spicehead, Princess Rainbow, Twinkle Starchild, and Juniper Lightning Bug. When Tenzin eventually found his daughter, he joined her in the cave, bonding particularly with Blueberry Spicehead. After Korra reconnected with her avatar spirit, she was given a flying bison from a herd that an elderly female shaman and other members of the Bonte tribe had been raising since the end of the Hundred Year War. The avatar used the bison to travel to the Eastern Air Temple in preparation for the upcoming Harmonic Convergence. A few weeks after Harmonic Convergence, poachers near the Northern Air Temple began to capture weak old baby bison to sell for food to the upper class in Ba Sing Se, but were thwarted ba by tens of new airbenders and an adult bison. When the Red Lotus ambushed the Air Nation at the Northern Air Temple, the airbenders attempted to evacuate using the flying bison at the stable. Before they could reach them, however, a nearby explosion caused by police combustion bending spooked the animals and they took off without the humans. Later that evening, a bison calf licked Kai while the young airbender was suspended upside down on a tree after being shot unconscious by police. As he came to, the baby bison lowered himself, allowing Kai to descend upon his back. Earning a stroke on his head, the bison flew them out of there. Did you enjoy our video? Be sure to check out these other great videos from the Amagi and make sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos. All right, you guys, that was the, that was the end of that video. That was the history of flying bison. All right, if flying bison is really, a really cool one, I hope y'all like and subscribe. Tell them what y'all want to do next. She a boy. What's up with the guys? Today I have a very special announcement. I will, when I get back to Ham, when I get back to Jackson, I will be, I will be doing a special vlog, riding the family horses. So, I don't know when I'm gonna get back to Jackson, but when I upload the vlog, here's the, uh, I'm gonna be riding the family horses. Stay tuned, hit your post notifications on, you know how you know what to do. See you, boys. Ow.